Well, Darren, on current form at least, the toughest challenge you can have in League One at this moment in time, but you've set yourself up nicely from Tuesday night. Yeah, we knew, obviously, this week, Tuesday and Saturday, we were against the top two. We've taken care of one of them. Um, I think it's going to be a very tough game. We, we, we didn't play them that long ago, and the Blues away, if I'm going to be honest. But we'd like to think that we're going to be far better on, on Saturday than we were that day. But yeah, they're going very, very well. Very, very strong, physical team. You can see that they've just come down from the championship. You, you can see that about them. So um, we're going to have to do certain things very, very well. Yeah, and they've been well. They've they've done what every side in that playoff mix at the moment would want to do: win five in a row. What have they done differently over the Christmas period, or has it just has it just clicked for them? I think it's it's a, a very similar picture to what really has gone on in, the, in in our league this season. You've had seat teams go on runs of four and five wins. You've had teams having results like we've had recently, where they've not won in five or six. So they've just hit form at the right time. You know, a lot of people were saying five, six ago, games ago they weren't having a great season, but now all of a sudden they've they've hit real form. They're scoring a lot of goals, and they had a very good Christmas period. So yeah, they're they're. I always felt they were always going to be around the mix. Um, but what they're showing over this tough sort of period of a lot of games and in, in succession over a short period of time, they've shown their physicality. Uh, big, big physical team. Yeah, away from home they've been particularly strong. Is it that that physicality that really stands them in good stead for those away games? I think so. I think you can see they are what you would probably say is a, a typical championship team. Massive in size, big, physical, get the ball in the box at every opportunity. So we're going to have to deal with that, um, but we're going into the game with our home form being outstanding. I think it's the best in the league. We're back to being joint top scorers in the league, which is good with Rotherham. So, um, and obviously with a lot more confidence in the players after four 0 win on Tuesday night. How much does Rotherham and their strengths inform the team selection for this weekend? Because you've been saying about Josh Knight being mm. on the brink. Potentially, he is a player that can add a bit more of that physicality? Do you just back your side to go and do what they did the other night? Well, no, there's always certain elements about in, in a game that you have to do well, and then Saturday's no different. Um, there's no doubt they're beatable. I'm not saying that the, 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 we're, we're going into the game thinking it's going to be that tough, we can't beat them. We're absolutely beatable, anyone we play at home. But we've got to have to do certain things correct and certain things we didn't do at their place. Uh, but we'll work on that, and sometimes now when you get to the playing the second game against the opposition in the season. You can reflect back on the first game, we can show players some video stuff that, you know, when we did it well and when we didn't do it so well. So there'll be a lot of that going on. Um, and then we'll prepare them on the grass tomorrow as normal. But um, Tuesday was a big one for us in terms of getting that belief and confidence back into the camp. We were talking a few weeks ago about the makeup of players that you had at the time and how perhaps in terms of your midfielders it, it wasn't going to be a, a team where you'd necessarily see lots of the ball because of the, the raw abilities of the players there. Did we see on Tuesday night with the new players that you brought in just the beginnings of maybe being able to turn that around a bit and being able to dictate the ball a little bit more? Well, yeah, I mean, over the, the weekend after women, we, we analysed the season, as I do most of the time, but a real because of the run we'd gone on, lack of goals and things. And I feel the players, the three players we brought in in the last couple of weeks are, are very good technically and look after the ball very well. But we, that's why we want to get them in the summer. Um, and we've got those three back, added to the fact that we've now got Thompson, Dembele and Knight back. That's six players. That's a lot um, of quality, you know. So we feel we're in a stronger position than we have been for a while touch wood and it remains that way Nike gives us that physicality uh, Tomo gives us that as well and uh, I look at what you know Rotherham are and where their strengths are is that physicality not just saying that's all they've got because they've got some very good players as you would expect but um, certainly I feel that the three players we've brought in can look after the ball can run um, you know Taylor and Smodich in stats in particular are covering 12k a game that's something that was very important to that as well. Yeah, and we, we've seen that really in <clears throat> terms of the, the energy in their performances so far. Do you have to be aware of that moving forward? Clearly, we've had a Tuesday night, we've got another Tuesday night next week. Are you happy with 
where they are particularly with Sammy and, and Reese coming from standing starts? Well, I think with Reese, he should be. I mean, he's had what three games now with us? Played at Burnley, Wimbledon. Is that right? Three games, yeah. Sammy was is slightly different. He's he's not played like Reese, not much football, but Sammy felt it physically on Tuesday. You know, he was he was a little bit heavy in the legs, which we thought he would. So that's why I got him off. It was a good opportunity. I think he'll be a lot fresher come Saturday. The way he plays the boy, he puts everything into it. He plays with so much energy. So we have to be mindful of that. Um, for example, on Monday before the the game against uh, Wickham, we, we just let him watch the, the tactical stuff as opposed to running around and doing it. But yeah, he should be a lot fresher for Saturday. Taylor, not a problem because he's been playing every week. Uh, Thompson, we'll have to have a look at him tomorrow because that was his first game for a while. But no, we're getting the bodies back. And uh, the most important thing was that you know, we go into this game with a, a bit more confidence, but our home form, and I said to the players before the game, well, there's no getting away from that, even though we've been on a bad run. Our home form is right up there, and if we can maintain that, that gives us a chance. Yeah, because actually, even over the Christmas period, yeah, it didn't work out against Doncaster, but the weather conditions against Gillingham were, were so difficult for everyone involved, it was a bit of a freak game in that sense. With Nathan, Nathan Thompson, is he in a, a similar position to Dembele, where he would just be really keen to, to prove a point over the second half of the season because it just hasn't quite happened for him yet with, with all of the injuries. Yeah, it hasn't quite clicked since he's arrived. Very good player, very experienced player. He can play in a variety of positions, which is good. And you're absolutely right, he missed pre-season. So he was playing catch-up, which can be difficult for a player. He then obviously got injured at Doncaster. Then he got injured again. So he is, if we can get him up to speed and get him playing in a run of games, if his form's good, then he's one that will have that freshness going into the last part of the season. A bit like Dembele, a bit like Josh Knight. You've seen Josh Knight when he, similar thing happened last season when he came, got injured, came back, was outstanding. The so we, we're we looking at that last part of the season, the last third of the season, which at the end of the month, that's what we're into. Um, we, we should have a bit of freshness about us, you know, added to the fact that I feel the players are fit. Mm. Yeah, it almost becomes like six fresh signings. And for Sariki, presumably after Tuesday night, in terms of the challenge you put down to, to him, you must have been delighted with the response to really get stuck in and make things happen. Yeah, I thought Sariki did well on, on, on Tuesday. I thought he gave us something slightly different in terms of picking the ball up from deep and being able to run at people. His, his goal was a good example of that. It was a very good combination playing with Ivan. So the fact that Smodic plays so close to the front two anyway at times means that Sariki can float around a little bit. So no, I was I was pleased with all the team on Tuesday. Uh, I was delighted for them, but for the Sariki I was pleased. Of course, he had the hiccup at Lincoln, but we drew we drew a line under that quickly. And yeah, again, he's got he's got a bit to prove, maybe to himself as well, because he's not played as many games as he'd hoped, and it's been a bit of a frustrating season. But I still feel, and I've maintained this, that he can play a big part to to what we're trying to do. Is the red card for Wickham handy in a sense in that if anyone was getting ahead of themselves on the back of the overall performance you can just point to that and say look it's it's one step on the journey it's a significant step but there's a, a lot of work to do. Yeah well I think the players are aware of that but I think when you go to six on beat, um, without a win <clears throat> I think it's you try and take advantage of a, a little break you get in the game. I mean I've looked back at it and, and it is a penalty I think he's just caught him with his hand. Um, and we've just got that wee break and they've gone down to 10 men. But I thought once we got the, the third goal in particular, obviously that made it very difficult for them. But I thought we, we used the ball well against 10 men. It's not it's just as easy as it sounds, especially against Wickham, because they're always putting the ball in the box. It's always free kicks. But what I was pleased about was Tuesday, we moved the ball very, very quickly um, and we used the extra man very, very well. So I think in terms of what you would have hoped for in a game. There was lots of touches, a lot of confidence come back. I think it was a perfect game for us.